Hey guys, so the Bears play the Packers in the night football. You know it's going to be a 50 burger. We all know that, okay? So, if not, Aaron Rodgers is going to get in his face as he ever owns us or whatever else. And welcome to my little kingdom in, you know, Green Bay and the stupid WWF uh, stance he does with the belt. Here's the thing you have to understand that why I want to boycott Aaron Rodgers and State Farm. One, Aaron Rodgers is an idiot. He's a freaking idiot. Number two, State Farm is in Bloomington, Illinois, not Bloomington, Indiana. So they're basically picked a person, never mind Patrick Mahomes, they picked a person that hates their state, okay? Bloomington is maybe a couple hours away from Chicago, two hours away, okay? Maybe three hours away with traffic. It's close enough that if you live in Bloomington, Illinois, you will get Chicago Bears football locally on TV through, through Fox or through CBS. And here's the part that I have a problem with. It's okay for Aaron Rodgers to go and say he effing owns everybody in Soldier Field on national television, mic'd up, and does it while everyone's giving the bird. Duh, no wonder why everyone's giving the bird because they hate him, okay? Number two, it was okay for him to do that and then the Bears linebacker to stare down the Steelers defense to get a, a flag a couple of games ago. That's okay. Or to go and hit the quarterback on the helmet and get a flag. But then Justin Fields basically got, you know, beat up on the field, basically, literally, having his face mask ripped off, hitting the helmet against the Steelers game and other games too. So obviously, Roger Goodell, Goodell has an issue with this. And the issue is don't touch anything to do with State Farm because State Farm pays the bills. When Patrick Mahomes was another POS of a person, okay, and, uh, you know, doesn't realize who he is and whatever else. I don't think he's that good. Yeah, he's talented, but if he was so talented, the Chiefs would have had a better record, right? So you got that. Also, too, you got to remember Aaron Rodgers hates the Bears. He said he had never played for the Bears. So we need to boycott State Farm. If you live in the state of Illinois and you're a Bears fan, don't get State Farm. They suck, okay? And also, they should boycott Aaron Rodgers because he also lied about, the, you know, the coronavirus and that he got this vaccine special thing. And Okay, so it's okay to go and fine and suspend three games for two Buccaneer players, including Anthony Brown. But you guess what, Antonio Brown? But you don't, don't go and do that to Aaron Rodgers. What's up with that? Really, what's up with that? I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that, not as a Bears fan and an NFL fan and as an American. He can get away with that crap. That's not fair. Okay, now I understand life is not fair and everything. And I understand it's from a Bears fan. But you pick anybody else if Roethlisberger did it, okay? He would have been flagged and suspended. For goodness sakes, Tom Brady was suspended for the flake gate and the spy gate as a Patriot. Okay? But Aaron Rodgers can't do it. He can get away with anything. He can murder somebody and put them in the freaking underneath the Lambeau field and they get away with it. And how they treat our fans, okay, when they come down, they spit on us, they pee in their beer cups and throw it at us, call us suggestive words, female body parts, sexual orientation, homophobic words. Whether if we go up there to Wisconsin, it's not even a Bears game, it's a March of or spring and you go up to Wisconsin, they'll say that to you. Get the beep out of my state. Beep you. That's okay. So, you know, as an angry person that's from Chicago, I don't live in Chicago anymore. I live in South Florida. But we dealt with this crap. My grandmother's 88 years old and I have to bring it up to her. You know what she says? Oh, you can't stand those people. They're blankly blank. I can't say it here on YouTube. I can, but I don't want my channel uh, discouraged for uh, for people watching. But that's okay. And then it's okay for the freaking Packer fans to troll you on social media. And you report it as not against the community rules. But if I say Aaron Rodgers is a freaking idiot, I get flagged. So that's not fair. So I hope to God, I pray that he goes to Pittsburgh or somewhere outside AFC team. And if we kick the crap out of the Packers for another 100 years, okay? That's what should happen, you know? Another thing, too, if you're going to 
draft somebody like in Justin Fields that's a generational talent that we've never seen a quarterback play this for the Chicago Bears, I would do the best I can to draft an offensive line that helps a center. Second round pick, you keep it, draft a center. Or you draft the receiver because Robinson's going to be gone. Basically that. And I'm not even the general manager. I know how to protect him. I do it on Madden. It's very simple. For you draft picks and a free agency splash, you get a receiver or two that are great. Not good, but great. Okay? You pay for one over maybe, maybe bring back Robinson. And your second round pick, you draft a center. Or you go up and you draft a center. Okay? You get somebody, the best flipping center you can get. That's what I would do. But I'm just a fan. You get rid of Ted Phillips. He sucks. He should be doing hot dog stand over there in Soldier Field. And the other thing, too, you're going to get a general manager. Keep Ryan Pace. He's a great person and community for the communication part of it. Make him the team president and, draft and get a real general manager, get a real head coach. If we're going to six, get Sean Payton from the. He's from Naperville. He's from the Saints. He won a Super Bowl. Okay, he's been in four NFC Championship games. He used to be a Bear when he had the strike. He was the quarterback. Are you kidding me? You think he wants to go and kick Green Bay's butt? Of course he does. So get him. Get Sean Payton. In fact, maybe make him the general manager too and have him protect Justin Fields' butt and get a receiver. Brandon Cooks wants out of, of um, New Orleans. There you go. That's what I would do. That's just me. Bear down.